Hey guys, today I will show you how to make zinc sulfide. So the chemicals you will need is zinc and sulfur. So to proceed to the reaction, you have to weigh out 4 grams of zinc and 3 grams of sulfur. So now just mix them. Okay, you can just mix it with the plaster rod. So I'll show you when the mixing is done. Okay, so I'm done mixing it. So now I just have to put it in a reaction vessel, which I'll be using just a evaporating dish because it could withstand high temperatures. So I just have to go outside and light it up. And I'll come back. And I'll give a quick shout out to Neodymium Pain because he has awesome video. You guys should check him out. Uh, the link to his channel will be in my description, so please check out his channel. It's a pretty good channel. So I'll go outside right now. Okay, so here I am outside, and I'm going to light it up right now. Oh, I turned off. So... Okay, still not done. Needs more on the other side. Okay, it's an awesome reaction. Okay, it looks done. But it's still not done. Okay, now it's done. Just give it a quick shake if it's done. Nope. Okay, so it looks done. So now just wait till it cools off. So I'll show you when that's finished. Okay, so now it cooled off. And here's the product of the reaction. A yellow white powder. So to extract the most pure material, just get the white or the yellow stuff. Still kind of hot, but not that much. Okay, that looks about enough. Let me just put this away. <coughs> okay, so there you have it. It's zinc sulfide, and the special property of zinc sulfide is that if you Put it under black light, it'll glow. So let's try that out. Let me just turn off my light and put the black light there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there just for a few minutes or seconds. It's better off with seconds. Okay, so it's about done. Let me just shut down the other door. So when I took it off, it should go green. You see that? All that was glowing. You can't see it that much in the video, but in real life, you can still see it glowing. Like right now in the video, you can't see it that much, but in real life, you can see it a lot. So yeah, that's the interesting property. I mean, interesting property of zinc sulfide. So <clears throat> it's a glow in the dark powder, but only with black light so you can't just use um normal light like other um glow in the dark powders so this one you need a fancy light so yeah that's it so another topic the reason I haven't been posting videos lately is because I'm in school already so if I'm in school I can't do that much videos cause um it will take off my time if I do videos of schoolwork and get bad grades so I can't do that so it will be like that for a long time until it's summer break or winter break and I'll make more videos so it will be randomly when I make videos just like today yeah so that's it that's why I haven't been posting videos because all that schoolwork I'm having 
So yeah, that's it. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.